and welcome back to the Football Flynn Show. Today we are going to be discussing the review of the games last night, Champions League games, games tonight and predictions, extras, there might be a wee bit of a pool vote and predictions and just some other interesting facts for you. So uh, we'll start off with the review of the games. Uh, but Leipzig versus Liverpool. Liverpool beat Leipzig 2-0. And also PSG versus Barcelona. Barcelona got beaten 4-1. And we'll dive into that now. We'll go to the Leipzig-Liverpool game first. Leipzig versus Liverpool. Good game, very good game. Liverpool obviously won 2-0, uh, as I'm just telling you. But uh, they Leipzig had their chances, but couldn't finish them. I don't know why though. They couldn't just they couldn't finish. Didn't have their shooting bits on today. Well, yesterday and this week, Liverpool capitalised on Leipzig mistakes. Two goals came from Leipzig mistakes. A pass back, a bad pass back by Sabitzer. Sal went through and put it past Galaxy. Lexi and then also uh, Mane's uh, the defender I think it was Mukie Mukiele um, he did a Quebec against uh, Leicester he did a Quebec and Alisson there except Galaxy stayed in his net and he just tapped it on by accident and Mane went through and scored very good game because it was over just over and back that both teams had chances they were playing very well very tight great game to watch and as uh, i've got a wee fact for you here shout out to uncle darren if you're watching this thanks for the fact here you told me uh, uh put more liverpool stuff sorry for the liverpool fans just don't like your team and it's a very bad team and same with the united fans <laughs> So, since Jurgen Klopp took charge of his first UEFA Champions League match at Liverpool in September 2017, the Reds have registered more clean sheets in the competition than any other side, 18. Good fact, uh, shout out to Uncle Darren again, but my Uncle Darren just... I don't like Liverpool fans or United fans because United fans, they just dive, uh, Bruno dives, Rashford dives, all of those players dive. But same with Liverpool, Salah dives, Mane doesn't really dive, but Salah's the main one who dives. I was wrong with my predictions because I've heard people say that, are your predictions gone out the window now? Because Liverpool won 2-0, uh, but... Because Liverpool came back stronger from their loss, I was wrong because Liverpool came back stronger from their losses in the Prem, your league. Um, Leipzig made the mistakes, obvious, uh, obviously, as I told you, and Liverpool capitalised with Salah and Mane scoring. Leipzig didn't have their shooting boots on either, though, because they they had hit the post, though, but they didn't have their shooting boots on. Uh, yeah, I think we'll move on to the review uh, of PSG versus Barcelona. Okay, Barcelona uh, lost 4-1, but they did score first. Barca first goal, Barcelona first goal, Messi penalty. Great pen by Messi into the top right corner, but some people were thinking it was controversial, and I was one of those, because the ball got played over the top by Barca. Kurzawa and Kimpembe were running and De Jong went through them and Kurzawa won the header and De Jong went down. He, he They were saying that Kurzawa quick clipped him. He didn't. If you watch the replay from a different angle, De Jong actually tripped on his own foot and went down. He thought it was Kurzawa's but he tripped on his own foot and went down and the referee started blowing for the pen. But he did clip himself and I think that wasn't a pen. Uh, second goal, we wee bit lucky because Barca's defending. Uh, first goal, PSG first goal. Good footwork by Mbappe and he smashed it in. Barca's defending wasn't good either though because the good uh, Mbappe, wee bit lucky with the bounces, went to Mbappe. Mbappe took it around the defenders and smashed it in. Maybe, I would say maybe a wee bit of the defenders should have done better. They just looked like clueless. They weren't, didn't know what they were doing. So yeah. Um, second goal, a wee bit lucky because Barca's defending was terrible. PSG second goal, it wasn't great because it it goes over the top to Florenzi. He crosses it in and 
uh, PK blocks it, it hits off uh, the Barca defender and goes to Mbappe, but credit to Mbappe, takes a toss, touch and smashes it in. Great goal by Mbappe, but a wee bit lucky, I think that was a lucky goal. But um, third goal, free kick uh, outside the box, good delivery though, nobody making... Uh, nobody marking Moise, uh, Moise King, nobody near him, nobody nothing, um, he was, nobody's there and he heads it home, great delivery but somebody should have been marking him, uh, he's in at the 6 yard box, wins the header and yeah he puts it in past Ter Stegen. Fourth goal, it was a 3v2, um, it was a Barca corner, P PSG got the ball, kicked it up and uh, there was three PSG players on the counter and two Barca defenders back, it was De Jong and Dest and Longley was making his way back, but Draxler, he carried in Mbappe, uh, Draxler pretends to lay it off, to fakes to lay it off to Cardi, then lays it off to Mbappe, credit to Mbappe here, then Cruz, bang, Top bins curled it. Brilliant strike by Mbappe. Um, but that was a great strike. Great goal by them. It just shows you how much counter attack in football uh, a team can do from a corner. They just get it out quickly, like Liverpool's did it before, where Allison got the ball, kicked it way over to Salah. Salah took a touch and score. See that it's just counter attack in football. Uh, I was wrong with my predictions. Most of you have been saying that. And same with the RB Leipzig Liverpool game because I said it was going to be two one. Got that wrong to Leipzig, but I was wrong because PSG played with confidence. They came into the game. Mbappe, especially, he took charge of the PSG team. He bought he bossed them around. He got the goals. He stepped up to the game. Mbappe, Messi obviously scored the uh, penalty, but Mbappe showed a very very good. Um, qualities in that game because uh, sometimes he doesn't show them because maybe it's Neymar or someone leading them but he, he lead the, led them against Lionel Messi's team Barca and he he completely destroyed PSG but maybe in the second leg Barcelona will do the crazy comeback again the crazy comeback um, I think we will have to move on. Well, that's the Leipzig Liverpool uh, reviews. I think we'll move on to games tonight. Sevilla versus Dortmund and Poro versus Juventus. Okay, we'll go on to Sevilla Dortmund first. Uh, Sevilla and Borussia Dortmund's only previous meeting in European competition came in 2010 and 11 in UEFA Europa League uh, group stages. The side from Andalusia won 1-0 one in Dortmund before a 2-2 draw at the Sanchez position. Uh, Borussia Dortmund have won their last 10 away games against Spanish opposition in the UEFA Champions League. Draw 3, lost 7. Conceding at least 2 goals in 9 of those 10 trips, Dortmund's only away win in, on Spanish soil was in the competition in 19, October 1996. Against Atletico Madrid, only 1 0 though. They'll go on to lift the UCL trophy that season. Sevilla have hosted German opposition 12 times previously in European competition. They've only lost one of those 12 matches, 1 7 and drawn 4. Against Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals of the 2017 18 UEFA Champions League 2 1. Um, my I think we'll go to Barcelona, uh, not Barcelona, PSG, uh, Porto Juve. Porto have never beaten Juventus in five previous encounters in European competition, drawn one, lost four. In fact, Liverpool are the only other club they've faced on more occasions without ever winning eight matches. Porto and Juventus' only previous encounter in the UEFA Champions League knockout stages was in the round of 16 back in 2016-17. The Turin side won 3-0 in aggregate, but in both matches it was goalless before Porto had a player sent off, each time in the first half. Juventus are the only team alongside Zenit St. Petersburg to have faced Porto at least twice away from home in European competition without ever e even conceding a goal. Without ever conceding a goal. 
but as you might know there's no home advantage in this so it's tougher if Leipzig were at home maybe they would have bet Liverpool I don't know but could have been a different game there's obviously no fans so yeah it's a tough one my predictions are oh, what's it sound Juventus 2 on Juventus. I think Porto are going to score. Juventus are going to come back. They're going to score, and Juventus Ronaldo come back. And um, also in predictions up here, uh, if you click the I button, you will see there is a poll vote. Uh, there's a link in it, and we'll do a straw poll and. Uh, Porto versus Juventus, you can vote who's going to win, and I'm going to vote Juventus because I think they're going to win, but uh, we'll see the present percentage in the next video, and hopefully Juve can win. It's going to be a tight game though, and Sevilla versus Dortmund as well. Um, this is another thing, um, Roma, New Balance, um, so Roma, uh, Roma's Official sponsor, as you can see here, is Nike. Uh, with the Rossi in the back, six, number 16, classic. Uh, it's their jersey last year with the, they've got a wee design at the back here. It's a cool design because it's got like all the classic logos and all, it's a cool jersey. But um, Roma have changed to New Balance. There's always pressure on Italian uh, like people that are doing the jerseys, like sponsors and all, because Italians are very big into the fashion and if you don't have a good football jersey who's going to wear it nobody's going to buy it and then you're going to have to get Nike, New Balance, the Adidas all out and um, yeah also um, as you might see um, also as you might see up here um, on March 11th uh, this last year I had my birthday party and um, when on um, when lockdown was officially going to start a day after that night after that so i got a few of my friends best buddies some of my friends and all come over and we originally picked roma versus Sevilla. we picked roma as our club but unfortunately uh sevilla wouldn't let anybody into the country uh the spanish bore nobody uh the spanish government and all wouldn't let any people from abroad or anything or any clubs come into the country so that game was cancelled so we had to watch terrible man united versus lask in the austrian league and yeah man united bet them at five nil or something but it was not a good game uh while born because it's man united uh so we just started playing fifa then opening packs and we had party food and all and you'll see a picture of me with some of my friends most of them and all uh and they'll be wearing roma t-shirts and we roma t-shirt that me and dad designed me and my dad designed for this and for this occasion and yeah we had a roma flag and all because we we're all ready for the roma game yeah i think maybe that would be it for the today um sorry if you might uh wait a little late it's very sunny it's trying to deliberately stop me making my show um but nah this this was a good uh episode here hopefully you're watching this after um last night's episode and hopefully you enjoy it because i've started my own channel everything uh don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell like the video and yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye.